All right, guys, I've got the craziest thing because I walked out my back door and I saw this spider web. It's amazing, beautiful creation from an animal's butt. And you might be wondering, so, but I've seen this trend going around where people paint it white and then put glow on it and then stick it onto a black tumbler. So we're gonna do that. Let's go. All right, first order of business is to spray the spider web. You probably won't see it. Is it showing up? Kinda. Just pretend I'll spray it. I'll show you in a minute. Starting to show up. Hey, make sure the wind's not blowing. All right, all right, got that. Now it's time to get the glow. There we go, got it. So let's shake this bad boy up, spray it glow. So I'll lighten up my exposure a little bit and you can see the white poking through, that spider web's popping. So now we're going to glow, same technique. I'll probably put a coat of this, go spray my tumbler black, and then we'll come back and put another coat of glow. So I want this thing to pop. So now while we wait on that to dry, we're gonna put a nice coat of black on our 12 ounce shorty tumbler from Steel Magnolia. Cause we want it super dark so that that white really pops and really has a good contrast. Okay, one thing I realized, I went and got my respirator because I thought maybe cause I'm outside, I won't need my respirator, but uh, that's not true. Cause I still smell the paint. So therefore the fumes are still coming around. I thought they were just, Go to my neighbor's house is kind of what I was hoping for. Just go over to their house and maybe coat their their side of their porch or whatever. But, but you know, it, I smell it. It's coming towards me. So I oh, ain't got my respirator. So we're going to do the black and uh, do that. You can't whistle with the mask on. Why can't you not whistle with a mask on? That's so weird. That's pretty though. Okay, so now I've got my black. I've got my glow and the white painted. The black's still a little tacky. And since we painted this side here, we're gonna have to go from this side and push the tumbler through to get it to stick and wrap around. So uh, here goes nothing. I'm not really sure if this will go well, but we'll see. Oh, that's so scary. Push, push, wrap around, wrap around. Come on. Whoop, you can't see. There we go. I'm dragging it off. Wrap, wrap, wrap. Oh yes, that's a good technique. Wrap it all the way around there. Twist that bad boy up. Oh, whew. take it, twirl it around. We've got a little bit more up here floating around if we needed some more, but I feel like, focus, that is cool. Isn't that crazy? So I'm gonna let this dry. Then I'm gonna hit it with some Mate Cleare. And I got a little decal I'm gonna put on it that I think is really sick. You'll be able to get that on the website. I'll show you that in a minute if I hadn't already. So look at that. Wow. Who wouldn't want to put their lips on that, huh? I'm telling you. All right, I'm looking at it. I'm watching it dry. And I should have went with my original plan, which I'm telling you this so you'll know, because I'm sure every one of you is gonna go out and do this. But the original plan was to spray the black. Let it, it's flat black let it fully dry and then spray it with the mate clear a for when i stick the web to it uh which i didn't do i thought well maybe the black sticky i had no thoughts that the black might um engulf some of the webs which i didn't see that coming so, so hopefully there's still enough on here that'll still look killer where it's really soaking up the web maybe that's where i'll put my little decal i got planned so I just want to show you that and give you that tip. Let the black fully dry, hit it with the matte clear, and then stick your web on. Okay, let's go. All right, so I mate clear aid this, and then I had a couple of things going on the turner, so I went ahead and put two layers of epoxy, because literally some of the webs uh, kind of, not, not exactly flat, and like this one right here still got a high spot. So I want to put a decal on it and wait till you see what I've made to put on this. And before I tell you, this right here, down here, you can't see yet because I'm not going to show you yet, but it is available on the website. And as appreciation, I know a lot of you are going to get it anyway because it's spooktacular. Oh, what, what did I say? But as appreciation for whoever gets this, I will be giving away this with that on it and it'll be done. That's kind of how that works, you know, when you finish something and you give it to somebody, you're like, here you go. But here it is, are you ready? Are you ready? 
Oh, yes, look at that. Oh, the webtastic drip lips with the fangs. Wow. I did two of them. I always print two, try to, in case I screw one up. But I was thinking this side, I really love it. Pretty interesting. This side gets a little, I guess where it overlapped a little bit. So I'm going to go somewhere between here and here with this drip lip. I think that'll work very well. I got some mica powder on it. Uh, stuff gets everywhere. So now I'm going to wet sand this. Oh, look at that. It's like a morning spider web with fresh dew. Then we're going to wet sand with 400 grit. I use it wet. So I, sometimes I don't tell you guys that, but literally it's the same in every video. It's, just, I, it's all, only sandpaper I own. And then we'll stick our little lips on and give it a kiss. Jeez, get a room, you two. All right, I wet sanded that with the 400 grit. I cleaned it off with some rubbing alcohol. And li literally, the only thing you have to do with these is I just peel it right off and I stick it on like a sticker. And to do that, I'm going, oh, hang on. Get out of the way. Tumbler, not socks and sandals. All right, I've just got it laid down. I'm going to put my drip lips, what I think is straight-ish, and then just stick it on and rub it down the middle and then the sides. It's that easy. This is so easy. Putting on stickers. Boom, that really jazzes that bad boy up, doesn't it? Now we're just gonna, uh, now we're just gonna spray this with a few coats of the Mako Clear. I already did one coat, I forgot to record it. So I just figured I'd show you the technique this time. And if you want more uh, in-depth details, click this video right here in the card. It shows you exactly how to use the Mate Clear A to seal your projects techniques and tips and tricks and all kinds of cool stuff to make you have a nice smooth paint job. Okay, here we go. One smooth pass all the way around. Once you get back to where you started, just stop. Don't overload it. Two swoops on the bottom, turn it 180 and do swoops the other direction. Boom, that's it. Don't do any more. Do the same thing on your next coat and then you'll be good. Probably use the quick coat for this. Oh. Hey, stay out of the way. Probably use the Lumilite Amazing Quick Coat for this. I love how fast it works. And it, I mean, it's pretty dependable stuff. If you want a discount for that, there's a link in the description. Get your discount code, try it out, see what you think. And uh, I'm sure you will love it. And it'll make this look like this. Man, that came out spooktacular. Get it, get it, like spooktacular, yeah. And this can be yours, here, here. I signed the bottom for you, just for you. I want you to have it, take it, take it. I'm gonna be giving it away to someone who heads to my website, downloads this drip lip file, and I'll just pick somebody randomly. Boom, I'll give it right to you. I'll send it to your house. Before you know it, you'll be drinking out of a tumbler made with real spider webs. I mean, look, check this out. Put your lips so close, and you know that this is a real web that came out of a spider's butt. How many people can say that? Your neighbor's gonna be like, I'm so jealous, I don't have any spider butt web on my lips what no i don't but wow let's take a minute and just take that beauty look at that slick aluminite quick coat holy moly that mug man and these drip lips they came out fantastic i can't help it i love a good bad dad joke you know what i'm saying and i can't quit flipping this around like, oh, i'm just kidding i didn't drop your cup listen it's still it's good it's good trust me look i wouldn't lie to you guys that often but if you like this spooktacular tumbler and you want you, you're not done you want to see some more spooktacular tumblers uh just click this next video right here